You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on intergovernmental agreements in the field of energy. To ensure the smooth functioning of the EU's internal energy market, individual EU countries negotiating energy agreements with third countries must ensure these deals comply with EU law. But in February 2016, the European Commission proposed an update to the current rules. If the proposed changes become law, member states will have to notify the European Commission about these energy deals before concluding them. Plug yourself into today's podcast to find out more. As the EU's energy dependence increases, more and more member states are forced to seek new oil and gas supplies outside of the EU. Negotiations with energy suppliers frequently require political and legal support, for example, to provide certainty to investors on the construction of energy infrastructure. This political support is given in the form of intergovernmental agreements, which are often the basis for more detailed commercial contracts. But conflicts with EU law can lead to legal uncertainty, discourage investments and disrupt the functioning of the EU's internal energy market. Take South Stream, for example. The pipeline project was supposed to transport Russian natural gas through the Black Sea to Bulgaria and from Bulgaria via Serbia to other EU countries, but it was abandoned due to its non-compliance with EU law and the sanctions imposed on Russia after the Crimean crisis. So what's the situation now? Well, at present, member states are required to submit intergovernmental energy agreements with non-EU countries to the Commission after signature, which is rather ineffective because once a deal has been signed, reopening it for further negotiation is extremely difficult. Proof of this is that although a third of the intergovernmental agreements on energy infrastructure have failed the compatibility check with EU law, none have been renegotiated so far, but the Commission is determined to change this. How? We'll tell you right now. In February 2016, as part of the European Commission's energy security package, the EU executive presented its proposal for a decision on intergovernmental agreements in the field of energy. So what were the main novelties? The main change, compared to the current rules, is that member states will have to notify their draft agreements to the Commission before concluding them, not after, and will have to wait for the Commission's opinion before signing them. If the Commission detects any incompatibilities and pulls the brake, the deal will just have to wait. So that's quite a change. But there are more. Yes, there are. Member states would also have to notify non-binding instruments or any amendments to them to the Commission after they've been adopted. They would also need to keep the Commission informed about their intent to start negotiating a new intergovernmental agreement or to amend an existing one and submit all existing agreements to the Commission. That's quite a list, but what are the expected impacts of the proposed changes? The Commission believes these would lead to greater legal certainty and reduced risks for investors and business partners, as well as increasing transparency on energy supply. But the overall aim is to bring all intergovernmental agreements in line with the aims of the energy union. So does everyone agree with the proposed changes? Let's take a look at the different views. Well, in principle, the European Parliament is very supportive of a stronger role for the Commission when it comes to the negotiation of energy-related intergovernmental agreements. Actually, in its resolution of December 2015 on the Energy Union Strategy, MEPs wanted to open the door for the Commission to participate in these negotiations as an observer. They also wanted to increase the Commission's grip on intergovernmental energy deals through assessments before and after the deals are secured. MEPs also asked the Commission to drop draft contract clauses and guidelines and call for more transparency regarding the key issues of commercial contracts between EU companies and third-party players, whilst protecting the confidentiality of sensitive information. But what are the views of the main stakeholders? In a public consultation carried out by the Commission in 2015, six member states supported a reinforcement of the current system, while five others, including France and Germany, felt that no revision was needed. On the business side, a large majority of stakeholders want to keep the commercial contracts outside of the scope of the new rules. Business Europe also warns that if made mandatory, compliance checks prior to the deal would not only be disproportionate, but would also discourage trade and breach European legal principles. The Energy Community Secretariat, which includes EU neighbouring countries, welcomes the Commission's intention to enhance the transparency of intergovernmental agreements, but suggests verifications are carried out by the Energy Community Secretariat for intergovernmental agreements between contracting parties and third countries, and an information exchange mechanism with the Commission be established. 
So what are the next steps? A number of national parliaments are already looking at the Commission's proposal. At the European Parliament level, the Committee for Industry, Research and Energy has the lead and the Foreign Affairs and International Trade Committees will also have a say. However, the new rules for intergovernmental energy agreements with non-EU countries will only come into force once the Council and the European Parliament have given their thumbs up. We'll be following the process. You're listening to European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.